it's taken you a while to get your career going at Newcastle. Was there any a stage where you know you never really thought you might make it to the Premier League as a kid? Yeah, there was. Um, I think that stage was at Coventry for me. Um, I'd, I'd always had little niggly injuries when I've when I felt right, and it would be back to getting in the team when I'm not sharp and not fit, and then it would be building up to get my fitness back, and then I'd get another little injury, and then obviously I came here. When I did start scoring goals, it wasn't, um, it wasn't a matter of I was thankful to anyone apart from myself, because uh, you know there were certain times when I definitely thought it was me against the world. You had a tough upbringing as a kid in Nottingham. Has that hindered or has that helped your career, do you think? Yeah, it's definitely helped me. It definitely made me who I am. And there's been times in, in football where if, if I didn't have certain the, the, the upbringing I did, it, it might have been a different outcome. How close were you to going down the wrong path? I think um, I did go down the wrong path at certain times, but I was too young for anything bad to come out of it. I think as, when I reached the... 14, 13 mark, I was, I, was, I was old enough to understand that it, was, it wasn't the right path for me and I um, slowly came away from it. You know, lots of your pals have even in prison. Do you have much contact with them? Yeah, yeah. I send letters and pictures, you know. Um, they're, they're still my friends and no matter what they've done, I've still got... Um, I've had good times with them and, you know, it's... They're good people. At the same time, I can just sit down and just think what could have happened um, if it weren't for good guidance from my mum. Yeah, no, I don't know what I'd be, be doing. I could see what my mum was going through for me and doing for me, so I didn't want to upset her. When I'd come home and tell her I'd scored here and there, it put a smile on her face, and that was the main thing for me. I'm very proud of where I'm from and my friends. I chose the way I wanted to go, and kept it, obviously, football all the way. You said you were possibly a, a touch arrogant when you were young, thought you knew best. What point did, did that really change for you? Yeah, I worked with Steve Wigley, and uh, he always told me that I'd have to go down the leagues to understand football, to, to come back, and that is exactly what's happened in my career. I think with my upbringing, um, I, I didn't have a father figure. So it was a matter of, I made decisions myself. So when I'd come into an environment where people were telling me what to do, sometimes I find it hard because sometimes I didn't think it was, it was right. So it did take a, a while for that to kick in, but I think it's a matter of maturity and respect. I, I, I'm not a quitter. I'll always work fully, no matter if I have a, a moan up or whatever, I'll always do what I have to do and, and put 100% into it. Things that have happened in life and things that I've, I've been through um, work like a slave, eat like a king. Uh, I believe that if you, if you put work in, you, you're going to get some rewards.